Hi everybody, let's do some more political excess this time, another campaign ad reaction. It is for Alyssa Slotkin, Democrat, running for re-election to Michigan's 7th Congressional District. Let's get into this one and see what we've got. I'm Alyssa Slotkin and I approve this message. Let me tell you a story about Michigan manufacturing. We have powered this country for a hundred years, but now we face a choice. Do we want to build the next generation of cars in Michigan, or are we okay with them going out of state and overseas? All right, this is a little bit of a lighter kind of an ad. It's focusing on manufacturing, and that's going to be important in Michigan and that district. So she's driving around in her car and ostensibly aware of the issues for her constituents. So let's play the rest of this and see where it leads. If Tom Barrett got his way, we'd have no GM battery plant, no thousands of jobs that come with it, and there'd be zero chips made in America. Tom Barrett says he doesn't want to pick sides. If it's Team USA over Team China, it's a no-brainer. All right, so yeah, this does go way into the manufacturing side of things, and she doesn't say she's really a Democrat there. It's kind of a general message that's going to be crowd-pleasing, keeping jobs in the U.S., in Michigan, she talks about a GM plant. She talks about ship production. I don't know the specifics of those issues. Everyone always says they're going to keep jobs in their state, in their district, in their community. And do they? Sometimes. Sometimes they don't. So many factors go into that. But she's attacking her opponent as being someone who would have done the opposite. I don't know how true that is, but it's probably going to play reasonably well. It's not controversial. It's not really hard-hitting focuses kind of on a generic macroeconomic type of sentiment, and I think that's going to work enough for this kind of a district. It is more of a swing district and could go either way. So showing her just driving around her community, showing you a little bit of B-roll for workers and manufacturing, that's fine. It's going to work for what it's trying to do. I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about this ad. I'd say it is an acceptable ad. So did I miss something in this ad? Is it really horrible? Or is this the kind of ad that's going to play well in Central Michigan? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this ad. And if you enjoy this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.